The South Korean government wants to hike the national budget by around a tenth compared to this year. It hopes the extra funds will help to kickstart an economy weighed down by high unemployment and a widening wealth gap. Our Kim ji Young starts us off. South Korea's Ministry of Economy and Finance said Tuesday that it wants to actively deal with the country's structural issues and pursue expansionary fiscal measures to boost job creation as well as future innovative growth. It says government spending in 2019 will increase by nearly 10 percent from this year to 424.2 billion U.S. dollars. That's the highest level since 2000, excluding 2009, when South Korea was struggling due to the aftermath of the global financial crisis. The ministry expects next year's gross income to amount to nearly $434 billion, up by some 8 percent from this year. Despite pursuing expansionary measures, the ministry says it will likely have a limited impact on South Korea's fiscal balance and government debt due to improvements in the country's tax revenue, which the government tallied at nearly $15 billion in June. The lion's share of next year's budget, around $146.3 billion, is to be injected into boosting the health, welfare and labor sectors, while nearly $64 billion is set aside for the education sector. The ministry has also increased the amount of state research and development for future core technologies, as well as boosting the platform economy, an ecosystem which depends on the Internet, computation and data. That's been raised to $18.4 billion, up more than a half a billion dollars from this year. The Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy says it plans to increase its budget to around $7 billion next year, nearly 12 percent more than its budget for this year. This says the ministry is seeking to effectively deal with trade protectionist measures, convert South Korea to safe and clean energy, and strengthen investments for sectors related to innovative growth. The budget proposal is to be submitted to the National Assembly later this week for approval. Kim Tian, Arirang News.